Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tip of the day. And in this tip, we're going to be taking a look at customizing this toolbar right here. So all you need to do to customize this is go to Options, Customize Toolbar. And here's all the buttons that we can add. And here are all the current buttons. Now, you may want to customize the toolbar for your specific needs. Maybe you don't need some of these buttons. Maybe you need different buttons up here. So you can go through and remove unnecessary buttons that you don't really use. So let's say I don't use the interactive tutorial button. I can remove that. Another way to remove that is to double click. So I don't need these two separators right next to each other. So I can just double click one and that'll remove that. Now the separators are helpful to separate things into a logical order. So if you have the play buttons up here, you know, you can separate them all. Let's say I want to add this new project button. Just click add and that'll be added right there. Let's say I wanted to move it up to the top. I can either click on it once and click move up all the way to the top or I can just click and drag it up all the way to the top, let's say before the new empty project button. And when you do add new buttons, let's say I wanted this lock event button to be right above the auto ripple button. So I'm just gonna select that and click the lock event button and click add and the lock event will be added right before or above the auto ripple button. And if you'd like to reset the toolbar, you added too many buttons or you're confused, just click the reset button and everything will reset back to defaults. So there you have it, customizing the toolbar in Sony Vegas.